Welcome back, gentlemen. Where we left off, we had completely ruined Duke William's day. We're not going to dress him as king. The man is a uh, duke at best. And so we have 100% war score, but I would like more land. I have uh, this land up here to give to the House of Godwinson. Let's just see who else is uh, our lords around here. Uh, Duke of Weiss. I think taking all of his land will be good. We have uh, lands of Norfolk. Or, yes, Norfolk. East Anglia uh, is what it's actually called. Which I think could be my... I'll move my capital here, really. Is that sort of in the middle between Norway and here? Oh, guess we're also going to take all this as well. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, we'll take this for the uh, House of Wessex. Whatever, whatever dukes are there around. You have uh, Gifford. Good for him. D. Morbray. Oh, no, we can't have Normans. We have to wipe out the Normans from our, from our rightful land. This guy is also very, very strong. Perhaps we should take something from him. Maybe, uh, maybe the whole of Warwick. Warwick is a very, very powerful duchy. And the old Robert of Gloucester. Yeah, we're going to have to probably take all of this land. So I'm going to ship the uh, the sails back over here. And we're going to take... We're going to take out some mercenaries. Uh, who do we have? Um, some Swiss. Uh, anybody? Norman, perhaps? You got Scottish and uh, Irish. That cost me 20 odd gold a day. We don't quite have that, but we are going to use them to simply storm through places. So they're not. They're not really going to cost that much, are they? Because they give us all the money straight back. So yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna win. I wanna make sure I get most of this land here. Let's let's take you No know we'll take a Lancaster instead. Move through to take that. And we'll move the um the cell swords down to East Anglia, we'll take that through storming it. And then we'll move our way through to Wessex. Excellent. Let us uh, raise his men. The Scots and the Irish. The Irish and the Scots. Scots and Irish, Irish and Scots. We'll go around and get them. 4,200 men. Excellent, we'll sell them down towards here. They'll outnumber most castles 10 to 1, so they should be able to do the job. Okay, he's got off another 1,000 men coming this way. These castles are going to take a while, but what do I need for Lancaster? Is it just the free? It is just the free. Okay, so that's not going to take terribly long. They are besieging their own capital back, though. I only have 29 men there. Yeah, so we'll work our way down with this here force. Moir, Algus, and... Tostig. We'll put Tostig involved, uh, get Tostig involved with them. We'll keep an eye up here with this other army as well, because we uh, won't want them to unite with their brethren now, will we? This is actually going to be quite a hard fought siege. They might even lose. Let us see how it goes. Yes, yeah, so we're actually going to leave them there to besiege it a bit longer, which is a shame because I can't really afford these guys for terribly long. What about if you were? Uh, Excellent. Uh, hey, wait for me. So we'll uh, pay for that that way. And now these will go down a lot faster, so we'll just leave them to it. We'll leave you to it as well. That money will pay for these men a bit longer whilst they go through the other siege. Or maybe we should just march them down. Excellent, so we'll take it that way. And uh, we'll let them get the morale back. And then they'll retake London when it is available. I'll get the morale back while they besiege here. And then uh, we'll send them after London. He should be at London for a while. Because he's going to want to go through everything, isn't he? But it's not going to be hard when there's not any men there. And the mercenaries are outnumbered. Yes, maybe I maybe made a slight mistake there. Okay, well, once one of these guys wins, they're going to have to go and besiege or attack that 1,000 man army. Right, he has got his morale back. Okay, let's march them straight in. We don't want to wait around too long here. 
Right, you guys are going to win the next tick. Excellent. So you're going to get that money, and then you are going to march into this army and make sure that they do not fuck anything up. Right, you are outnumbered. We do have great a great general in the centre there. So maybe it won't be that bad. Maybe you will actually win. I'm not entirely sure, but Siege of Chester has been won. The Battle of York has been won. So moving back down to Derby. These guys now, I think they are going to lose. They're killing more than they're losing. For now, at least. That won't last. But they are going to lose. Okay, that's a shame because they didn't actually really kill anyone. That was quite a disastrous mercenary band, really. I just stormed them at the walls of Norfolk, which is probably going to be retaken for nothing anyway. Oh, God. Yeah, that was uh, that was a disastrous campaign. Sorry you had to watch that. Some witnesses. The Siege of London, yes, has been lost. Okay, that is, uh, that's a shame. But what we're going to do is we're going to march this army down there instead. We'll leave these guys up here to besiege. Oh, good for you, good sir. Congratulations on that. You know, we shouldn't lose this. We do have quite superior numbers. But we have lost two flanks. We're being outflanked on all of them. Um, yeah, I think we're going to lose this as well. Holy f fuck. William's making a comeback here. Although one of his good generals has been slain, but he is making a comeback. He's just slaughtered us there. That's going to outrage. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, we we got quite destroyed there, but this these guys are doing a job. So we'll simply besiege all of this, and then we'll march down in full force. We'll let our good general here on uh, flat terrain as well. Yeah, that was that was a complete and utter disaster. You, you can't really get worse than that. 7,000 men. Hey, wait for me, good sirs. Alright, we'll simply take Lancaster, and then we'll march down on London again, and then we'll take everything that we want after that. We don't need the money, so we'll just take the top level here. Hey, wait for me, boys. Okay, off we go. 6,400. We outnumber them quite a lot. Two and a half to one, is it? Is that the maths? Oh, a little bit more now. Three and a quarter to one. But they have taken back all of the land. They're going to Oxford. We'll meet them in Oxford. We'll destroy them in Oxford and then we will march on Middlesex and reclaim it. Excellent. They're not getting out of this one alive. Good. We've captured one of their men as well. Middlesex will be taken, then Suffolk, and then the... Uh, Lands of Wessex. Take all this back because it has replenished the gold. Which was secretly my plan all along. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. That was definitely my plan. Yeah. Alright, so we'll take this because there's no one here. Excellent. Okay, boys, let's go down to Winchester. I've been to Winchester in real life. It is a very lovely place. The Winchester Cathedral is fucking beautiful. It really is. Should I take uh, Bedford as well? Not yet. Not yet. We'll wait on that. Looks like they want to go back. It's going to take a while to besiege there. All right, 2,000 odd men. We'll send you over with the mercenaries. You guys will stay here. Okay, right. Send the mercenaries in first. Then send your men in. Let's just send the mercenaries after them, really. We'll uh, simply besiege these lands. The mercenaries can cut down their numbers a bit. Where are they going? Suffolk. Let's go around and try and get them. I could ship in more men, but I'm not going to because I am losing quite a bit of cash. And I want to slowly besiege these other areas for now. Oh no. The pressure's getting to me. So I'm assuming these guys are going to lose. But they're going to cut down their numbers anyway. Good riddance. Oh, excellent. They killed uh, the Duke of Warwick. Excellent. Now his land is going to be split, split between his children. Yeah, Lancaster has been split there. And Warwick's been split here. Alright. Alright. So they are going to lose. But that's fine. They are mercenaries. It's their job to uh, dice that we don't have to. 
Maybe not in such a, such spectacular fashion, but yeah. Because they're going to die again here. They might even get stack wiped. You boys want to ensure victory over there? Good. But now I want to have the sieges going, please, if you would. Thank you. Uh, you guys, can you take the Isle of Wight? There shouldn't be a thousand men there. Oh, jeez, there might actually be a thousand more men in the Isle of Wight. That's not terribly accurate. <laughs> the Isle of Wight? Fuck no. You won't find a thousand men there. There might only be 900 odd. And the mercenaries will uh, get the numbers back. Yeah, his armies are pretty scattered to the wind now. Oh, good, they can besiege us. It'll still take a long time, but we've got the uh, money to uh, afford now. How much am I losing with the navy? Two odd ducats. Okay. I do like my navy, though, but let's just sell them, uh, sell them over here. All right, now he, he can't actually besiege us. All right, go make sure that... Go make sure these other guys can't get through, maybe? Oh no, they'll get through anyway. Just uh, just go around here, we'll have these two armies. Excellent, so you've taken that. Uh, we'll move you over to the island. This is the last one I really wanted though, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Good. Good. I mean, it would be nice to uh, ensure that I get the High Lordship, but I'm not really too fast. Not really too fast at all. I'm fussed about him taking London back. Because they have regrouped a fair amount of men. But at least they are forced to actually besiege it and they're not simply storming it. Oh good, we've taken that. But we're starting to lose our numerical advantage quite a lot. Oh, I'm no longer a zealous. Alright. I guess we can do a bit more Viking-like behaviour now. Okay, let's get all these men together. 3,500. Yeah, let's take London back. And after that, where the fuck do I want to besiege? Focus on cavalry. I like to be a cavalry leader. Running my horses and such. And good, I'll become a brilliant tactician as well. That should put it all beyond a doubt. Good, we captured some fucking guy. We'll simply take this back, which will give us some nice gold again. I, I do like how they replenish the gold for me every time I uh, leave and come back. Okay, there is there is Devon. And Somerset. What is the Duchess Somerset? Just two provinces. Okay, so what if we just... What if we just took the lands down here? And they're recently conquered, so they do have weak garrisons. So we'll see what we can storm before we uh, turn around. Alright, 600 men. We can storm this. Yeah. Just. Let's see if we can take uh, this as well. Was it only two? Or was it three? Yeah, it's just two. So we'll see if we can take this, and then we'll see if we can take the other fuckers. But we'll enforce the march as soon as we uh, are under threat of anything else. Curses. That'll last a little bit, but he might be able to storm it. Good. Wait for me, boys. Okay, now, do I want Devon or do I not? I could push for Devon. See, I want... Uh, I want Duchies. I want Duchy for me. Duchy for my ally. Duchy for Wessex. And then I've got two extra Duchies. You know what? That'll do. I want to enforce my demands. He's been made Duke of Essex. And apparently I can't revoke his, la his his titles in this because I must have a reason to revoke. Even though I'm the rightful lord of all this land, I can't simply just take it. Okay, so you have that. You have you, who's apparently the uh, duchy. You have that for some reason. You still have that duchy. We have all these other lands. Alright. Alright. 
So we're gonna we're gonna let down these levies. Uh, I mean, not levies, mercenaries. But yeah, we'll let down levies as well. And we'll uh, put our ships to port. And we'll put our little bands of men over here towards Norfolk. Norfolk is going to be made the new capital of the English, Norwegian, Norman Empire. It's a bit more central to all the areas. Got the areas up there, the areas there, the areas there. Fuck London. London's a shithole. I don't want to have it. London. Norfolk. That's where my capital will be. Norfolk. And we'll rename it to... Uh, hard... What do you call things over here? They're not bergs. Hard radal. I'll do. Hard radal. Hard radal. I'll name it after myself. Suffolk. Suff. Radal. And this will be the uh, Duchy of Hard Rada. This is all new. Hard Raden. The Hard Raden Duchy. Excellent. So we'll be keeping that. But we do have a lot of land to give away. So there was these other gentlemen. There is the uh, Lord of Wessex, who we will grant the lands of Wessex. Where's the Duchy of Wessex? Hampshire. We'll create Hampshire. We'll, uh, yep, it's been renamed. Very good. We'll give that to uh, the rightful Lord. Fucking hell, I can't press for shit here. Excellent. He'll be named the Lord of Wessex. Congratulations. Good, sir. Oh, you made your capital Dorset. Very good. Uh, Dorset is a great place. And we got the uh, the general who would like his land. Not Northumbria, you're not getting your old homeland back, Tostig. And you're actually imprisoned. Asked ransom prisoner? Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, you're fucked. Actually, I can execute you. I can uh, banish you. I'd rather execute the man. He's a claimant. Duke William, get out of here. But now Robert has your titles. The House of Normandy is uh, is quite strong, it must be said. Who has all the land over here? Oh, Hugh of Normandy, is that his brother? Who is Hugh of Normandy? I don't even fucking know. Uh, these people, they're not really of... Much significance to me, I don't think. They'll uh, probably be attacked by the French. They are Normans. Normans are Norwegians. They're just a bit further away. Uh, right, so we have our good friend. Is he released yet? No, what about, what about now? No? What do you mean, fucking no? What do you mean, no? Duke Roberts? Of Essex? Give me Essex. Revocation is not legal. What do you mean it's not legal? I want revocation. Revocation allowed. Yes, that's what we want. Oh, we need everybody to support it as well. Chris Council support. No. What do you mean no? You? Yes. And uh, Magnus. Certainly not. Uh, what if I sent you a gift, good old Magnus? Would you then uh, consider my request? Good, it's just just you, good old Sven. Can you replace Sven? He's the uh, Master of Whispers. I can't. But I could appoint a Marshal. Somebody who likes me and is also good. Edgar. Edgar of Wessex and a Chancellor. Uh, Kitten of Godwin, no. Hawaii, no. Grimm, De Montre, William. Uh, we'll make it this guy. He's not the best, but he'll do. Request council support. Excellent. And you request council support. Excellent. We uh, should be able to sort this out in no time. Great. Well done, fellow. Excellent. 
Excellent, we have implemented it. So I can revoke titles of uh, of those I want. Shame I uh, got rid of William, as I could have just revoked from him. They're going to say no, and he has 1,000 odd men, but that's that's fine. We just set him, send him into a rebellion. Because he also has the Duchy of Hardrada, and that's that's what I want. That's my rightful land, you fuckwit. I want them out of mainland England. So we're going to do that, and he's going to rise up. We're going to try to fuck with him. Six men. You fucking kidding me? Six. Six men. Six fucking men. Alright, well, let us uh, get these ships back up. It's a shame I put down the army. That was maybe a mistake on my part. I'm going to have to uh, put down my ships, though. We'll uh, release and re-raise them. We'll just simply select everyone. Get your shit together. Go over to here. All of you guys, get your shit together. And go over to here. And I'll do for this episode. I'll see you guys next time when we'll try to uh, run these guys out of our land. See you again. Goodbye.